How you doing my friends, it's Joe Vinshaya here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel where we cover all the news for superheroes, uh, video games, comic books, TV shows, pretty much all things geeky. I like to give you information to become a better fan, or what I like to call fan formation. Today what I want to talk about is how Deadpool could be really messing up Avengers and Star Wars and, and how Deadpool alone could stop a lot of people from making a lot of money. We do know that recently Disney purchased 20th Century Fox and, and got a lot of stuff from them. The X-Men, they got Fantastic Four and they got Deadpool along with a bunch of other stuff. I'm not talking about that, that's old news. But we haven't seen them do too much with it yet until recently we have some movies getting new release dates, one of which is Deadpool's now getting moved to May 18th. That's my birthday. What a wonderful birthday for me and a horrible decision by Disney. But we're going to talk about that in the second half of this video. The first half of this video is talking about the other movie that I got a different release date and, and what that could actually mean. So New Mutants was a movie that we, we've known about, we've seen a trailer for, which t takes place in the X-Men universe, but it was being portrayed as a horror movie. And it wasn't this the same X-Men group or anything. It wasn't Cyclops or Jean Grey. It was, it was the, the New Mutants. Yeah, they're, they're like in a mental institute and they're trying to get away from there and it's scary. Now, when I first saw the trailer, I was confused. I was like, I don't know if I want like a horror movie, but with, with comic book, it was a weird combination of things that I didn't know if I needed or wanted. So Disney moved New Mutants from what was supposed to release early this year uh, to a 2019 release date. And what does that tell us? It, it could be Disney has moved this title because they don't know how to market it. Because right now it's a scary X-Men movie and Disney finally has the X-Men under the umbrella and they're like, whoa, hold on. This isn't our plan for the X-Men. We don't want to do a horror movie. Let's move this to 2019 till we can figure out precisely how to change the vibe of this movie. Maybe do some reshoots or just fix things up. Or maybe they just don't have any faith in the movie. Maybe they're like, hey, uh, we don't think people want a horror movie in the X-Men world. Which, I hope that's not the way of thinking because honestly, let's look at some of the most successful superhero movies to date. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy did really well. Deadpool uh, broke some records. The first Iron Man did insanely well. And the reason people received these other superhero movies so well is because it did something different. And in a time when we get three or four superhero movies a year, we need something different. We need a movie to shake things up and, and, and to kind of let us put our expectations and, and put it somewhere else. It's one of the reasons why I think the DC movies aren't fantastic is because they're very reactionary. They always go off of what's popular at the moment and then they create a movie around what's popular versus Marvel or, or 20th Century Fox. They'll just do something and be like, hey, this is different. We've seen this already. Let's do it this way now. And it's great. Guardians of the Galaxy was funny and it was a ensemble cast. So it, it was just different from what we've seen before. So that was great. A movie like Deadpool took everything we loved about superhero movies and made fun of it. So them moving that to 2019 I, I don't know what they want to do with it. Maybe maybe they'll just cancel the movie altogether and kind of do their own thing with the X-Men, which everyone is excited for in the first place. What is Disney going to do with the X-Men? Maybe New Mutants just didn't fit in their plan. But that's, that's New Mutants. Now let's go ahead and talk about why Deadpool moving to May 18th is a bad idea. First of all, this goes, for, this goes even further back. This goes back to Disney deciding to release Star Wars movies in May again. The original trilogy and the prequels, were they all had May release dates around the same time. A lot of them were May 17th, a few were May 19th. Never on my birthday, May 18th. But hey, now I got Deadpool, that's pretty cool. But then, with The Force Awakens, that was a December release. And that was insanely smart for Disney to do because you release a movie just before the holidays and then all the fans go see it. Just like this movie, I think it came out on December 17th. I went to go see it. I saw it uh, the Thursday release, it was great. And then Christmas rolls around and then everyone's stuck with their families and they're like, hey, let's go see a movie. Hey, Star Wars is a movie we can all agree on. And then everyone goes to see the movie a second time, thus getting more and more money because of return viewers. And that's why the first Avengers did so well, because it was this different movie at the time. Huh? Huh? See the theme? Where everyone got to see all their favorite superheroes now all together, and you wanted to see the movie more than once. That's the trick. Any movie can make $200 million by having a lot of people go to the movies one time. 
but you break box office records by getting people to go to the movies more than once. So a December release for Star Wars made sense. Then they decided to take Solo, a Star Wars story, and release that just a few weeks after Avengers. At least then there were three weeks in between it, so it at least gave Avengers enough time to make money so people could see it once or twice during that three week period before then needing to go to the movies to go see Star Wars. But now that Marvel owns 20th Century Fox and they own Deadpool, they took the Deadpool release date and literally put it smack dab in the middle of those two giant box office giants. Giant box office monster giants, y yeah. So right now it goes May 4th, Avengers Infinity War. That's, that's gonna start off uh, the month of May. And then uh, nothing really on the 11th week later, but then two weeks after that, you have Deadpool. Now two weeks, that's, that's still enough time for Avengers to make some money, sure. But then you immediately go into Deadpool and everyone's gonna wanna see Deadpool. The people that saw Avengers will probably wanna see Deadpool. Maybe not all of the same people, but a lot of people are gonna wanna see Deadpool too because the first one was great. Now where it really messes up everything is because the next week is Star Wars. Why would they put all three of their movies in a three week span? These are some of their biggest movies that they have coming out this year and they're all coming out in the same month. You're not gonna have the chance to see Deadpool two times because you're gonna wanna see Star Wars the next week. If you do see Star Wars, then maybe you won't be able to see it two times because you wanna see Deadpool a second time and then you now all of a sudden have to decide of these three movies, which ones do I wanna see at all in the theater versus how many do I wanna see more than once? It's too much in one specific month. In, in a time where we have too many superheroes in the first place, we just might get worn out. It has been weeks since Star Wars The Last Jedi has come out, but people are still talking about it. People are still going to the theater to see it because there's nothing else to see. Whereas uh, after you see Avengers, another movie comes out and then another big movie comes out. It's just a lot in a small time. And I know I keep repeating that. I just, I'm a little baffled why they would do this. I hope. And I do think that there's still time for them to do this, that we have the Deadpool release date of May 18th. I think that maybe this week or next we'll see another release change and they'll go ahead and move Solo A Star Wars Story to December or at least November. At least just give it, put it in a time where people can see the movie over and over and, and make a lot of money. Like The Last Jedi or not, it made a buttload of money. It didn't make Force Awakens money, but that's okay. And then do the same thing with episode nine, because in 2019, in the month of May, currently we have Avengers 4 coming out, and then just two weeks later is Star Wars episode nine. Not a good idea. We could probably say that at least after Star Wars, they're, like Disney doesn't have a movie coming out. Yeah, Disney doesn't have a movie coming out, but just a few weeks later is the Jurassic Park movie. I don't know what else is coming out in June, but June, May and June are big months for movies. It's the summer blockbuster. It just, why would they take all of their movies and put it into one specific month? I, I'm looking forward to Deadpool. I'm gonna see all of these movies. I don't know if I'll be able to see all these movies twice. I don't think I'll see Avengers twice. I, I, I want to, I don't know if I'll have the energy for it. It's a lot of superheroes. It's a lot of, it's just a lot. But let me know how you guys feel about this. Do you think it's a bad idea for them to put Deadpool in between two major releases for Disney? And do you intend on seeing Star Wars A Solo Story more than one time? Yeah, that, honestly, that's all I kind of really have to say on that. I just think, I, I, I'm excited that Disney has X-Men. I'm excited that they have Fantastic Four and, and Deadpool and, and 20th Century Fox properties now. I, I am, and I wanna see what they're gonna do next. And I trust in Disney, I do. I, I think that they make a lot of great decisions and they've really proven that over the last decade. But this, I don't know. I just don't know what's gonna happen. And what about New Mutants? What is their plan with X-Men in general? We haven't got a lot of information and these changing of release dates is rough. And if you're expecting to see a Gambit movie, that ain't gonna happen because they were supposed to film in March and then they lost their director two days later. So, you know, but as always, this is the part where I'd like to talk to you guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think about all of this. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I have a bunch of other videos on this channel uh, uh, that I think you'll find interesting and also the upcoming videos that I'm gonna wind up doing, I think you might like as well. So please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel or at least give it a like because it helps me out. It helps me make more videos for you guys and follow me if you want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram because I like to have conversations there with you guys and I'm always talking about news that I don't have time to make videos for. So as always, till the next time, I'll see you later.